Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the EuroLeague quarterfinal. It's Portsmouth against Stade René. Of course, the game being played under lights this evening. Time we headed straight for Portsmouth. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Been a lot of excitement already in the Euro League. We can expect more to come. Here we are now at the quarter-final stage. Yeah, looking forward to this one because we've got two attractive attacking teams and uh, we'd expect that to be the case out here. Plenty at stake. Portsmouth feeling good about their own game, looking for another victory. Last time out, they won at home against Everton. Should be buoyant after that 3-0 win, but uh, probably a draw for them here. This is the line-up for the home side. For the away side, Aysa Mandi starts with Sheikh Mbenge as the wide defenders. Ola Toivonen is the main striker today. Wilson Wallace can have it back Cook and here's the shot great save have a corner. Athleticism there to make that save. They've got a corner now. And he's headed it goalless. Missed it. He might be through. He's got the goal. There's still a chance. Forrester. To go in from here. And they play it wide now. And hits it. Opportunity wasted by this team, it's still level in the match. Tried the back heel and unlucky, really. And he gets it back again quickly. They've got to be still in play here. That's a penalty, it had to be. He's made up his mind here to give the penalty and to show a yellow card. Yeah, well, the penalty is the, is the major thing for the team conceding here. Well, that's risky going in like that. Yeah, he might have done a bit more damage to his opponent than seems to have been the case.
just to place it down the middle that and see the keeper going the wrong way really good so the first goal has come in the second half Forrester here's a chance to attack and that's almost the flick of the switch from the manager to say right we're going into our defensive game now in with a chance he's gone in strongly and got the ball Kurt Zuma. got past his marker opportunity here here's the chance oh, off the post <laughs> So it's Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. It's a South Coast derby today. They are historically fierce rivals. Southampton meet Portsmouth. I think we might be watching the champions elect today. They're my tip for the title in any case, and the visiting fans are expectant. Let's head off to St. Mary's then. A lovely day for football on the South Coast. Clear blue skies. Here's your comedy team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, Alan Smith. And we've got a match from the Barclays Premier League for you. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Delighted to be here, as I always am for these occasions. Here's the Southampton team for you. Jack Cork starts with Stephen Davis in midfield. Shane Long is the main striker today. This is the away team lineup. And Portsmouth. Everyone wanting to see how they do today. The Champions Cup football is so important for any football club in terms of the finances and. Uh, those players must be made aware of that at this late stage in the season. Got to hold their form together. He's not been in good form at all, Alan, has he? But he's been picked to start today. Well, I didn't wonder about that, Martin, but the manager's picked his faith in him and uh, we'll see if it works or not out there. Goalkeeper parried it offside. The officials clearly in agreement. That's a straightforward offside decision. Yeah, you do have to take a chance when you play that kind of game. Lucian Tadic. Low. Here's the chance. Well, they're trying hard to get in front here. To here, not settling for level pegging. He's going to try and do something to put his team into the lead. It's Bailey. This could be it. Got to be. The keeper thrown out there. He reached it but couldn't keep it out. And that's flown past the keeper before really he could react. Closing minutes for Southampton and they're in trouble. Well, I wouldn't be surprised to see the opposition manager put another centre-half on here to try and cope with this aerial bombardment that's about to come, I think. Here's the cross. And it's a headed effort at goal. An offside call just at the moment where they thought they were going to go be in to score. Yeah, and fair play to that defence, they were all in touch with each other, it was a good line that they held. Still 1-0 here, with the time almost up. What about this uh, impacting on their next game? Well, Southampton go up against Aston Villa, Martin, and, uh, well, if they play like this, they're not going to get much out of it. Rodriguez. 
Rodgers. Cross coming in now. Well done, Levy. And where did that come from? They've got the goal so late on. A goal from Pele. Well, the keeper's not far away, but it was a really good, powerful header, that one. Well, they're back at level, begging again at 1-1. Be a change for Southampton, the sub's going to come on. Oh, that's a wonderful ball, can they finish it? In with the chance. Still in play here, shots on here. Well, it's still level, thanks to the goalkeeper. We might look back at the end of this match as the defining save in this contest. Low. Well, only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. And Tadic. They're looking at their watches down on the bench. Can this last attack produce a... He might be needed again, the goalkeeper. Oh, the tension starting to rise. It's a corner. Those occasions. I think so a lot of pride at stake. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the EuroLeague quarterfinal. Today it's Stade René against Portsmouth. Of course the lights are beaming down this evening. So without further ado, let's head straight for Ram. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Been a lot of excitement already in the EuroLeague. We can expect more to come. Here we are now at the quarterfinal stage. Yeah, looking forward to this one because we've got two attractive attacking teams and uh, you would expect that to be the case out here. Plenty at stake. Portsmouth looking to get more points this time than they did in the last game. They got one and it was away from home against Southampton. Well, I think they could have played a lot better in that 1-1. One -one. In fact, I think they were lucky and I think they will lose here. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Asa Mandi starts with Sheikh Mbenge as the wide defenders. Ola Toivonen is the main striker today. This is the away team lineup. Zurheider is today's referee. It's game on here in the quarter-final of the Euro League. Well, they've worked extremely hard to get to this point. Still a, a way to go, of course, until the final, but a big 90 minutes coming up. Comes in with a tackle. Here's the chance. And a goal! And he's just hit it so hard that it's gone over the keeper's head and he hasn't got time to react. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. So now on aggregate, it's 1-1. Well, uh, Toy Van Charles Cabore. I think even the opposition are applauding that one, that back heel. Cross coming in now. Toy Van And it's in! The header! Great goal! Keeper, but there was good power on that header. Oh. 
Here's Taylor. And the shot's off. He's made the save. Cleared for a corner. Here's Taylor. Sure. They've got to be. Oh, that's another goal from a player that they brought in for this season. And it was a very wise move, Alan. I think it was. He's uh, done himself justice. He's uh, proved that uh, he was worth all the effort to bring him to the club. And that is a, a wonderful sight. Yeah. Sure. Keeps it going well. We well, could be in. Here's the volley. Very nearly a goal. It's hit the out. It might be their last chance here to get something from the game. Cook. Now Wilson. Chance for it. Got to be. Well played the goalkeeper. He's kept his team in it. Yeah, he kept on his toes as well. Really good stop. Up a notch or two. 